What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's Blitz of the Day series. Uh, the Blitz of the Day is basically just a TV uh, or a YouTube show where we just break down a simple defense in Madden 25, uh, some strengths and vulnerabilities, and some ways to make the defense ultimately a little bit better. Today's defense is going to be coming out of the 3-4 solid formation, and uh, the play for today is going to be the Trio Sky Zone. This is one of the better Blitzes in Madden NFL 25 uh, if we had to uh, go ahead and, add and um, trim it down to just a couple of really good plays. And uh, what, one of the reasons this is a very good blitz is, first of all, it can be found in not just a 3-4 playbook, but it can also be found in the 46 playbook. Um, another reason this is a pretty decent play is because of those the way those yellow zones are kind of exotic. You see how they're kind of flowing very effectively. That's really nice, and we can use it to our advantage. Now, another reason this play is really effective is because of how easy the blitz is to set up. You just come out, you base a line, you can put Campbell in any zone you want, which is what I, I normally put him into a flat zone or a purple zone. You can quarterback spy the nose tackle. And typically you're going to just go ahead and get that pressure right through the right B gap. Now as you see we got a little bit delayed there. There's an additional setup if you want to go ahead and, and, and make it a little cleaner uh, that you can do here. And that is to do everything we just said, but first you're going to spread your line and then you're going to make those adjustments. And now you're going to see that they're going to set that nice little B gap angle for your backer to come through. Um, so basically, guys, uh, just to kind of recap here, you're going to, you really don't even have to base a line. It's just we want to make all of our defenses look the same. So we're going to base a line. We're going to spread our defensive line. And then we're going to zone Campbell. We can also man him up. Okay. And we're going to quarterback spy Williams. The quarterback spy in Madden NFL 25 next gen does a very good job for occupying offensive linemen. And as you see, we're going to get that B-gap pressure uh, to slide in there. Now, one of the cool parts about Madden 25 Next Gen, and this is uh, this is Blitz, uh, was brought to my attention by S. Gibbs on, on TWIM. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk about it and showcase it on my YouTube channel uh, is not because this Blitz is just a, a groundbreaking philosophy or anything. It's the idea behind what we're doing here. If you see this, this is the key. Number one key, we're blitzing from depth. As you see Dansby here, he's blitzing from depth. He's going to come, you know, it's about five yards off the line of scrimmage, and then he's going to come in on a slant. Another thing, we're using our stunts of our line to occupy the two linemen on the left side as we're using Alexander to push his guy, the guard, to push that guard back, okay? And then Abraham is just occupying that in. Now, what I like to do, personally, is I'll go ahead and just globally re-blitz him because... That blitz angle right there that Abraham is on is the best pass rushing blitz angle in Madden NFL 25, uh, except for the nickel 3 through 5 formation. The reason, that, and it's not just from this, I mean, look, you'll see we can do it with Washington, we can do it with Campbell. Those straight down blitz angles are very effective in Madden 25 this season. Okay, and as you see, he'll s just storm in, and uh, eventually the, the offensive line will slide over and pick it up if you run it a bunch of times in practice mode, but. Uh, you get the idea, and I wanted to do this because as we're starting this series, you know, I wanted to show you kind of something, one of my better plays from that Real Eagle 2 last week, but I also want to show you how um, you want to go about learning your own blitzes, and that the first key is you want to learn how to blitz from depth, like here on this one, we're bringing Dansby on a slant. Another play that you may consider for this is the 3-4 over Trio Sky Zone. Trio Sky Zone is a really good starting point for any of these. Um... But just different plays like that. And I want you to go ahead and try that. Try using the philosophy shown in this video uh, to uh, be able to execute in other plays. Also, real quick, I want you to check out that episode of TWIM. I'll have it in the link of the description below. You can check that out. You can see they actually gave a couple of other really good uh, topics and blitzes on there as well that you can check out. Uh, remember, that's Z Farles and S. Gibbs from MaddenTips.com. I want to go ahead and give them a quick shout-out. I haven't had... Um, as much time on my hands as possible um, to get you all the information, and I'm going to rely on them to cover some of the more in-depth stuff that I haven't had a chance to on my channel. So, thank you for your time today, guys. Remember, I want to draw your attention one more time to that description below. Uh, there's a lot of links in there that you can check out. Uh, the one that I'm going to recommend most in this video is that TWIM link, that TWIM uh, TV show that I wanted to, or YouTube show that I wanted to show you. And then lastly, guys, if you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, just hit that comment section below. Let me know, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And then, oh, one other thing. If you're new to the YouTube channel, you want to know what we do here uh, at my YouTube channel? Basically, what we do is we just sit back, we, we play some N25, and uh, we try to get better. That's all I'm doing here. I'm just posting some plays and uh, trying to help you guys get better. If you have any suggestions uh, as far as things I can do to improve the YouTube channel, 
please let me know in the link or in the comment section below. Thank you for your time, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.